Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss on this topic paper battery. This is a very interesting topic and it is a latest topic nowadays. So without further ado, let's start. Introduction A paper battery is a flexible, ultra thin energy storage and production device formed by combining carbon nanotubes with a conventional sheet of cellulose based paper. In addition to being unusually thin, paper batteries are flexible and environmentally friendly, allowing integration into a wide range of products. Their functioning is similar to conventional chemical batteries with the important difference that they are non-corrosive and do not require extensive housing. So a paper battery is composed of carbon nanotubes and cellulose. What is carbon nanotube? So let us find out in the next slide. This is the basic internal structure of a paper battery which is composed of carbon nanotubes and electrolyte present in that. So what is carbon nanotubes? Carbon nanotubes are allotropes of carbon with a cylindrical nanostructure. You most probably heard about allotropes in your chemistry classes. So allotropes are different structural modifications of an element. The atoms of element are bonded together in a different manner. For example, the allotropes of carbon included diamond, graphite and in here carbon nanotube is also an allotrope of carbon which are valuable for nanotechnology, electronics, optics and other fields of material science and technology. In addition, owing to their extraordinary thermal conductivity, mechanical, electrical properties, carbon nanotubes find application as additives to various structural materials. For instance, nanotubes form a tiny portion of the materials in some baseball bats, golf clubs, uh, car parts or Damascus steel. These are some properties of carbon nanotubes. The carbon nanotubes are flexible and very lightweight. Carbon nanotubes offers high tensile strength. These are good conductors of electricity. Carbon nanotubes have high packing density and low mass density. This also provides low resistance. These are some properties of cellulose. You most probably heard about this cellulose in your biology classes. So the cell wall is the plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. Cellulose is an important structural component of primary cell wall of green plants and many forms of algae. So why we use cellulose in a paper battery? Cellulose is a biodegradable and biocompatible material. This also provides low shear strength, offers high tensile strength, has magnificent absorption cap capacity and porosity. There are also some pores uh, present in this cellulose. In cell wall, you most probably heard about plasmodesmata. It is a passing through the uh, cell material from one cell to another cell by that. This also have some pores. Cellulose is non-toxic. It can be easily recyclable and reusable. These are the methods of paper battery construction. First method. First fabricate the cathode and anode with zinc and manganese dioxide respectively. With the help of a standard silk screen printing press, these batteries are printed on to the surface of a paper. After that, this printed paper is infused with the carbon nanotubes. Now let this printed paper to dip into the electrolyte ionic liquid solution. Zinc is used as a cathode, manganese dioxide is used as anode, carbon nanotubes used as electrode and ionic liquid solution used as electrolyte. This is the second method. This method is little complex than the first method. Here silicon is used as the substrate and the nanotube grows on the substrate. Cellulose is used to fill the gaps in the matrix substrate and also to form a combination with the nanotubes. When the matrix dried, the amalgamated nanotubes and cellulose is stripped off. 
Thus, we can create paper sheets having layers of carbon nanotubes. By combining these two sheets together, we can construct a supercapacitor with an ionic solution like urine, sweat or human blood as an electrolyte. Coming to the third method, this method is comparatively simple and can be fabricated in the laboratory. First, take a rectangular shaped Xerox paper. Now made a coating of ionic solution in this paper surface. Then spread the specially prepared carbon nanotube ink over this ionic coated Xerox paper. The other side of the Xerox paper is laminated with a thin film or layer of lithium. Aluminium rods are used to transfer current between the two electrodes. These are the images of paper battery. So coming to the working principle of paper battery. The internal performance of paper batteries is identical to that of a traditional battery by generating a voltage about 1.5 volt. We can recall the working principle of a traditional batteries where ions and electrons moves between the electrodes anode and cathode. Due to the flow of electrons from cathode to anode, current start flowing from anode to cathode along the conductor. Here carbon nanotube is used as cathode, lithium metal is used as anode. Bioelectrolytes like urine, blood and sweat use as electrolyte. It sounds weird but this is true and the cellulose or paper is used as separator. Similarly in paper batteries the metal is used as the anode, the carbon nanotubes as cathode and also the paper of cellulose is used as a separator. Due to the chemical reaction between the electrolyte and carbon, electrons are generated. Similarly due to the chemical reaction between electrolyte and metal, ions are generated. These generated electrons starts flow through the external circuit from cathode to anode. These are the area of application of paper batteries. Paper battery can shows favorable for applications where size and portability is a major necessity. Most modern electronic devices like digital watches, smart cards, etc. Facilitate the necessity of ultra thin batteries which are non toxic. Flexible and long lasting, the paper battery can be rolled, twisted, folded, and even cut into your desired shape and size without any drop in its efficiency. The applications of paper battery are given below. Paper battery can be now implemented in wearable technology like Google Glass, wearable biosensors and wearable computer etc used as entertainment devices used in tax and smart cards for medical applications like disposable medical diagnostic devices and also can be used in pacemakers due to the paper batteries non-toxic and biodegradable nature ideal for aircraft automobiles remote controllers etc so Come to the advantages of paper batteries. There are lots of advantages of paper batteries. These can be used as both super capacitor and battery. Paper batteries are very flexible, ultra thin, non toxic and biodegradable battery. Long life. Provides a steady power. Can be available in different shapes and sizes. They offer high energy efficiency. Paper batteries are low cost and can be easily disposed. They can be used to produce 1.5 volt energy and also paper batteries are rechargeable. These are some limitations of paper batteries. The construction of carbon nanotubes used in the paper battery is very expensive. There are different technologies are used like chemical vapor disposition, arc discharge, electrolysis, laser ablation etc. If we inhale the paper battery, they start interacting with the microphages present in the lungs. This is a very similar to the same of asbestos fibers. So it will be very hazardous for the health of humans. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel 
for more tech videos like this.